Welcome to the AAA tutorial on fused latch geometry extracted from AAA examples. The objective of this tutorial is to expedite your airplane design by using existing airplane geometry as a starting point for your AAA model. This tutorial has the following four steps. Step 1. Download the AAA example files. They can be found on our website using the link on the screen. First, we need to go to the AAA example file on the website. Go to www.darkworld.com. Under software, you can find advanced aircraft analysis. And then click on example files. If you scroll down, you can see the aircraft example categories, the aircraft example, and the form you need to fill out to receive a download link. You can also make a selection to select all airplane examples or the airplane examples that got added later on. That way you can always select the aircraft you want to include. Check your email for the download link that has been sent to you by Dark Corporation. Remember, it may end up in your spam box. Then click the link that is sent to you. This will download the zip folder with the AAA examples. After downloading, save and extract to your desired location. Step two, export fuselage geometry from AAA example. So launch AAA. Then open up the airplane example, which we want to use as a starting point. For instance, if you're designing a twin aisle commercial airliner, you can choose the Boeing 777 as a starting point. Open the fuselage geometry module and click export. Save the file in a desired location. Step three. Prepare the export data in Excel. So let's open the file we just exported in Excel. Then there are a couple steps that need to be completed. The data on the top can be removed. So select the data and remove the rows. Next is the data that is labeled in the output columns can also be removed. You want to make sure that the first coordinate of the table is located in cell B3. That is where AAA will start reading the table. Last is to remember the number of fuselage stations as you will need that in the AAA geometry module. In this case, there are 39 stations. Step four, import the fuselage geometry into a new AAA file. So let's launch AAA and start a new file and then, if you're in the new file, go to the Fuselage Geometry module. If the configuration is not yet set up, you will be prompted to fill out the required information to access this module. We'll fast forward through these steps. Once in the Fuselage Geometry module, fill out the inputs. Make sure that you eventually set the correct number of fuselage stations, which is 39 in this case. Then click Import Table to import the fuselage geometry and hit Calculate. Once you hit Calculate, you'll see the output being populated. To check the input, hit Plot. Here you'll see the side view and the cross-sectional area of the fuselage. You can always adjust the fuselage geometry to make it better for your airplane design by changing any of the coordinates. You can do so in AAA or before importing in the Excel file, of course. Double clicking on the fuselage stations allows you to change the shape of the cross section by dragging it. You can repeat the same process for other airplane geometry. Think about nacelles, wings, inlets, tails, floats, stores, and more. To summarize, Using the airplane examples on our website can expedite your airplane design 
by using existing airplane geometry as a starting point for your AAA model. We hope you found this tutorial useful. To learn more about AAA, or if you have any questions or suggestions for new tutorials, please go to our website and fill out the contact information. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest information on the tutorials.